for the Quantum Grammar Shoot Podcast, the only podcast of its kind on the interwebs that I'm aware of. I'm your host, Colo Jason. I've met you on glass. You may call me Jason. In this podcast, I will be looking at topics as viewed through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. The wonderful grammar technology brought to the public in 1988 by the late Colin David Ivan Colin Miller. What I'm going to talk about today are those folks who contact me whose initial volition is not to learn the grammar, but for legal advice or lawful advice, however you want to put it. They're usually embroiled, ensconced, entrenched in some sort of legal battle. Or they have in mind a specific legal battle that they would like to engage in. And they want to know if quantum grammar would be helpful in such a case. And then they would go on to share with me, perhaps to demonstrate their level of legal or lawful knowledge, and explaining details. Now with the balance of the honor and the grace... I can cognize folks doing this because they're letting me know that they know less than zero about correct sentence structure communication. The fiction system, folks, is the fiction system. And in this particular edition of the podcast, I'm going to try my best to articulate to you the reason why I do not participate with that system in particular, i.e. the legal system. And if you learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, you get closure on it and you're very confident with your conveyances and your knowledge level and also most importantly the psychology of it then you won't have to participate with the legal system the fiction system either you'll be able to safely navigate through it over it around it under it whatever you won't have to worry about it but that's a big if that's a big if because not too many folks possess the wherewithal the willpower to learn it. I can think of a few folks who showed promise, but they just could not wrap their minds around the psychology of it. They were too busy being angry and spiteful and malicious and vengeful. They wanted the fiction system to pay, which again, in some scenarios, is understandable why someone would think that, but that is not correct cogitation as it relates to correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, psychology. Because we have those three uh, principles, folks. The position of peace and neutrality, the balance of the honor and the grace, and the maintenance of rule one, rule equal. Those principles must be firmly in place and adhered to before one walks into a foreign vessel and dry dock or any other type of venue those things must be at the forefront constantly being checked as uh, El Wapo Bas Rutan once said 9 out of 10 times a calm individual will win a fight against an emotional angry individual and that's exactly the analogy I want to use here with what I was talking about when I was first learning to box in a Puerto Rican boxing gym in a basement getting my ass handed to me on a daily basis I learned not to fight mad Because when you get angry and fight mad, you make mistakes. And if someone who has the skill to fight 
is calm, they can see everything you're doing and it's very easy for them to pick you apart and hurt you. And it's the same thing with the court system and the foreign vessels and dry dock. Once they get you emotional, they got you. As John Lennon used to say also. So that's a big thing to keep in mind. A big, big uh, critical component. Now going specifically into fiction, legal, lawful system. If someone comes to me and says, hey, what if I file this affidavit? Or what if I do this? Or what if I do that? Or they don't recognize the punctuated name. Or, you know, all these things. I can tell right away what they're doing wrong. And why it's not working for them. And why it's not going to work for them. The minute you submit paperwork to that court, you are now under their jurisdiction, under their authority. You have submitted to their authority. Now you want that individual in the frilly black dress on the third Master Mason plane to be the authority of your scenario. You have just agreed to that if you submit paperwork. Now you may ask, well, how else are we going to get the, the, the file in there? There are ways. But submitting the paperwork is not one of them. There are ways. Of course, I'm not going to share that with you because I don't know what your correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar level is. In order for me to share those mechanics with you, you would have to be able to demonstrate to me that you have at least a rudimentary closure on the grammar and that you can clearly articulate that to me under duress. Then I will share those quote-unquote courtroom mechanics with you. Now folks might say, oh, he's just trying to make money. Because he's not going to share the stuff. Because knowledge should be free, dude. No, actually, my correct sentence structure knowledge is free. It's all on my YouTube channel and about a thousand videos. Free to you, the public. So you can go ahead and learn it there. And then when you feel you've learned it, you can contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com and uh, apply for a test. If you think you're, you know... If you think you have a rudimentary closure on quantum grammar, you can email me, apply for a test. I'll tell you how to go about doing it, and I will test you, and we'll see. And if you pass the test, I'll be more than glad to set up foreign vessel and dry dock navigational mechanic workshops for you. But you got to know the grammar first, and you can learn it right here on this channel for free. Or, of course, you can email me and uh, apply for a workshop. Because I do give classes that have a curriculum. And, again, that's at the email address at the bottom of your screen. So, I just wanted to clear that up before anybody got their pantaloons in a bunch. So, if you are trying to reason with a foreign vessel and dry dock entity with a legal entity a bar member bar association member entity it's probably not going to work out for you the way you think it will because you're not a part of that and although some folks who use common law and UCC codes and things like that they might have a success here or there they might have continued success But it's my experience in six plus years of talking to hundreds and hundreds of folks all over the earth. It's my experience that eventually that winning streak comes to a stop, a screeching halt. That's why folks that have done common law for 15, 10, 15 years, even 20 years, have contacted me wanting to learn correct sentence structure because their common law just suddenly stops working. And I have an answer for, I have a reason as to why that is too speculation on my part, but I think it's reasonable, educated speculation. The reason it stops working is because common law is fiction law. It's, it comes from the same place that 
the legal system comes from. That's why you always hear people talk, well, it's not legal, it's lawful. Well, it all comes from the same source, the same root. It's adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. And until folks wrap their minds around that, until some folks wrap their minds around that, then they're going to continue to get what they get. So the reason I'm sharing all of this with you today is because I do get emails like this every week from folks wanting me to help them with a fiction case. None of them, however, usually none of them, will follow through with a consultation. They usually flake out. They just don't have the, what do you want to call it? They don't have the uh, endurance or the, uh, mm, that's not the word I'm looking for. There's a word I'm looking for, the constitution, the, the gumption to even follow up to try and get a 10 to 15 minute video consult with me, which I do offer them, but they, they don't uh, respond back. And I think it's because when they read my email, which is written in correct sentence structure, also translated into plain, simple English, that it's like it, it might overwhelm them. And that that is as it should be because I do that on purpose. That's part of the vetting process. If me, the way that I give my kuleana to you, using correct sentence structure and plain, simple English in brackets and italics, if that overwhelms you, if you don't get it, Well, then you certainly are nowhere near to being in a position to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar. If my email overwhelms you, you're you're not ready. You ain't ready, bro. Or lady, bro. You're not ready. So that's good. It's It's all, again, as it should be. But some folks, one in a million, when they get that email kuleana from me, will want to set up the consultation and they will follow through and they will learn and they will take one workshop, two workshop, three workshop, maybe six, seven workshops, maybe eight. If they want to do the full curriculum around probably seven or eight, maybe. And they'll get closure on the grammar. And then we will move on to other workshops like form vessel and dry dock mechanics C pass C treaty, fate writ volition claim, port authority, navigational flag mechanics, postal mechanics, banking mechanics, all the rest of it that comes with having closure on this wonderful technology and this wonderful grammar. So learning the grammar is the foundation. It's the basis. It's the square one but it's nowhere near the end. And it takes so much blood, sweat, and tears to learn it that most folks will just give up because it's just too much work for them. They want it easy. They want something spoon-fed or handed to them, you know? Um, And so this isn't for them. But for those who have what it takes, I... I'm definitely here for them. And I hope to hear from them soon. Thank you very much.